Hey, what's going on, everybody? Movie Phantom here. And uh, yes, time to talk about a movie coming out this weekend. Wide release The Witch. Here right now, I am absolutely pumped for this movie. And I know it's that, I, you know, I did my top 10, you know, upcoming horror films, uh, you know, toward the beginning of the year. I saw a lot of other people do, you know, the same thing. And the one movie that is in common with almost all these was The Witch. And not just thrown on there, like number one or number two. I mean, this movie literally it made an impact. We saw the trailer, you know, last year, and it's definitely one of those uh, highly anticipated movies right here. Uh, Spurring that on the fact that like Stephen King is all about it. Like he literally said, it scared the hell out of him, which is just a great tagline, anyways. But whatever, he, you know, King's usually good when it comes to the horror films. He really is. He was all about frailty, and I fucking suck that thing off all the time. So. Uh, yeah, that's a good endorsement. Uh, the Church of Satan is all about this movie. Which, I'm not going to lie, if I want to have a Church of Anything be into a horror movie, I'd much rather be the Church of Satan. I'm not going to lie, I don't know if I'd be all about the uh, Scientology-endorsed horror movie. Or especially the Christian-endorsed uh, horror movie. Uh, the movie basically it takes place back in like you know the 1630s or whatever. Uh, presumably, you know, this family is kicked out, exiled from you know their village or whatever. Uh, small town, uh, because the, you know they're accused of witchcraft or whatever the case may be. And so they move you know out in the boonies, which is you know 1630s. Their place with the boonies, pretty much. So, uh, but they're you know they're out in the wilderness. They're dinner thing, and just weirdness happens. You know, uh, and that's the thing I with the trailer. They don't really show you much as far as story goes. They just kind of show you random clips. Um, one of my favorite scenes in, in the trailer is when the young girl who, you know, is the one that they're, you know, who is being accused of being the witch, she's playing peekaboo with the baby. And, you know, she's peekaboo, you know, and baby's, ah, and then, you know, gone. Dude, that is fucking ch chilling right there. Like, it really is. Like, that's just fucking, you know, it's nuts. Um, this looks to be, you know, in the vein of, like, the Wicker Man, the original, not the Nick Cage abortion. We don't talk about the Nick Cage abortion on here. Uh, no, but it, you know, it seems kind of like, you know, in that vein. Or uh, even, uh, came out a few years ago, I don't really hear a whole lot of people talking about, but the movie Black Death, uh, was, you know, it kind of reminds me a little bit about that. And I, what I love about those movies is, is, I don't know, it, it's like, they'll show you two sides of something. And, don't get me wrong, I'm usually very anti-religion anyways, but typically in movies, you know... Christianity is either really good, like in The Exorcist, we rely on that to, you know, exorcise the devil, or whatever. Uh, or like in Red State, where it's just a bunch of fanatics uh, who are just taking it too far and, you know, killing, you know, three innocent boys. Uh, but it seems like a movie like Wicker Man and uh, especially Black Death, it's just a weird line there. Like, you know, it's almost like religion's kind of out of the equation altogether. You just kind of realize that it's just, I don't know. It shouldn't have an impact, but it does. And I think that's what I like about this, because, you know, this is before the Salem Witch Trials, uh, when witchcraft was really used more as a political thing, and, you know, just to kind of screw over your neighbors, or whatever the case may be, and women had no recourse of action here. Once you were like, you know, you're a witch, you were fucked. That was the end of it. And but they would use God as like, you know, that was like their main staple. Like, you know, this is unholy, this is, you know, against Christ, you're a witch. And that was, you know, the end of it. And I, I, I really, I, I, I dig shit like that. I really do. Like, I, I just like that. And uh, this one right here, like I said, this looks like it's going to be fucking awesome. Like, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, highly pumped. I want to know what you guys think. You know, you guys looking forward to the witch. I know most of you guys are, because, I mean, I've seen your guys' top tens and stuff. But uh, drop, you know, comment, let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you're going to see it this weekend, drop me a line, let me know how it is. Don't, no spoilers, please. But uh, just hit me up, let me know. I think another thing I thought was really neat was when she's like, is it a goat? Is she milking a goat? I don't know. But the blood goes in the bucket, and then she fucking, dude, yeah, hell yeah. Black magic, witchcraft, fucking possession, I'm in. I'm fucking in. Duh, sold. Uh, yeah, so, High Looking Forward to the Witch opens, uh, it, you know, probably it's out tonight, I'd say. You can probably, yeah, and I think, in fact, it would probably have Midnight Showings or whatever. I don't think we're going to do, like, Midnight Showings ain't a big thing anymore. It's like the 8 o'clock at night showing, so it's, you know, whatever. But, uh, yeah, I'm sure your town's showing it, so uh, check it out. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to it, so, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Until next time.